coming here. Um, so what are we doing today? Um, um, yeah, Today, yeah. I mean this week, we started. <laughs> A new computer. Step, one step process, SN1 has two steps. Um, the reverse order of first SN2, it would be one prime, two prime, three prime, and then SN1 is uh, three prime, two prime, one prime. And do you know why those kinds of pairs are away Because of Hoff, who is that guy? Hoff or who? Just because of the size, right? Um, so one thing about SN2 that's different right. is the attack of the new So for that reason, the new compound that you use for SN2 has to be strong. So I imagine it as if you have a row of people, you want to kick the last person out, you have to be really strong to kick that person out, right? But for SN1, the last person leave on their own, so anyone can just go in, right? So that's the reason why SN1 can basically use any new compound in our work and not try to kick anything out. SN2, you need a really strong new compound so you can actually force the so, um, in our reaction, if you look at part A, we're looking at the structural effects of SN2. So, if you guys have alpha halides that you're using today? Mm -hmm. So, if you look at that, which one will be the fastest? So, you have 2 thermo 2 methyl propane. Is that primary, secondary, or tertiary? Comparing between one bromobutane and two chlorobutane, which would be faster. Bromobutane, right? Because it's just easier to be And so the reaction that we're doing for part A specifically is we're adding sodium iodide as a profile, which is a strong profile. And we are going to make, we're basically replacing our bromine with iodine. And we're making sodium bromide or sodium chloride as a So when you're actually doing the reaction, that you're seeing, uh, seeing sodium bromide. Can't hear you no more. Sodium. So basically, you have one bromobutane, right? You can react that with sodium iodide. The bromine will be stopped, and the iodine will replace the bromine. And you have your alkyl halide, which is iodide now. And you have sodium bromide, which is So make sure you write this reaction down in the report. And so when we're talking about trends, like said, primary will be the fastest, and then secondary, and then tertiary will be really slow. And that's because of something called steric cadence. So in this first picture right here, we have ethyl bromide, and our nucleophile is trying to get to the carbon that's attached to the leader. Right? Here, it doesn't have that many groups on here, so it can see its way through. As you put more groups on, um, it gets harder for it to reach that carbon that's going to kick out the leader. And for tertiary, it's pretty much impossible for it to reach because there's just no room for it to find its way. Okay. So based on that, for part A, which one will be the fastest? One. One bromobutane, and then? Then second. One chlorobutane, you can hypothesize that. But well, and then two bromo, and then would you expect three 
Congo doesn't exist. Um, you expect that to happen at all. Right? So what I want you to do is, when you're doing part A, do the fastest one first. So you'll know exactly what the precipitate will look like. Okay? If you do the one, uh, two bromo, two methyl propane, and you're just waiting for precipitate, and you're like, I don't know what's happening, just do the fast one first, so you know exactly what will happen, and compare it to all the next test tubes with that one, is it will get cloudy and a lot of people will come to us and be like, is this precipitate or not? Just shake it up. It should sell to the bottom. You should see a solid. And if it doesn't have, uh, if you don't see precipitate within the first three minutes, put it into a hot bath that keeps the time going. And in the hot bath, wait for like 10 minutes if it doesn't happen, then it's going to be Okay? So these are some of the reaction coordinates for SM1 and SM2. You've seen one of these before. Which one's SM1? The second one. I mean, the first, the first one. one. <laughs> yeah, so what we're going away is we have two steps, right? So we have two intermediates. And so one of the differences is, um, like Tamara said, it's also one step. That means that you have no intermediates, right? You only have a transition state. And what's the difference between a transition state and an intermediate? Transition state is the something that we uh, use to explain things, but no one has actually been able to see a transition state. It's just a pictori pictorial representation of what might be happening to get to the okay? Um, so just keep that in mind when you're explaining this stuff in your And what do we call a reaction where all the bonds make and break at the same time? Concerted. Concerted. Okay, so to review, in our SN1 mechanism, the leaving group is first, Carbocation and our nickel file attacks. If your nickel file is um, ethanol or water, you need an extra step to remove that extra okay. So in this case, um, can you tell me why the predicted trend of tertiary is greater than secondary? Uh, one, one is way this. The least substituted. Substitution. Yes. Okay. Why is that important? Um. Let's see if anybody else answers some questions. <laughs> Why is this trend the way it is? It goes on. What's carbocation, right? So we yes. remember how the carbocation formation is the rate determining step, right? So if that one will be the most stable, it will be the fastest, and that's why it's the opposite of SN2. Okay, so based on that, which one will be the fastest for our part B? She said part B. What? Oh. Is that primary? No, that's secondary or tertiary? You're talking about for SN1 reactions? Yeah, for an SN1 reaction, oh. part B. Three. Two. 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 Oh. Two. Yeah. And so which one will you do first for that one? And then? Go right down the list. Two bromobutane and then? She said one bromobutane and then one bromobutane. She said two bromobutane. So keep in mind that for SN1, though chlorine is a worse leaving group, we can't say for sure that it will be faster or slower than the second group. We can just predict it. The experiment will tell you. But for SN1, you know that primary will be the lowest, and between the two primaries, chlorine is worse. So we can say for sure that chlorine will be the slowest. Okay. So you said one bromobutane. Butane is the slowest. Second huh? Yeah, one chlorobutane after that. Not, no, one bromo butane. That's the. Um, that will be the second slowest. Second for slowest? SN2, yeah. For SN1? SN2, yeah. The second slowest? Yeah. What's the slowest? Chlorobutane. Okay, so like I said, um, um, so we don't need a good nucleophile for. So the reason why we're not using sodium iodide anymore is because you saw it. If you use sodium iodide, it'll go through the SN2 mechanism, right? So by adding a weaker nucleophile, you can force it to go through the SN1 mechanism. And another
other thing that will help is uh, remember how for S1, the leading group just falls off, right? But if you add in something that will take the leading group from you, it'll just make carbon pan formation that much easier, right? So we have silver, silver nitrate in our part B, and what, will that, will, what that does is takes the chlorine from our alkali halide or the bromine, and that's a precipitate that is silver bromide or silver chloride. Right? And that forces the carbocation formation, and our ethanol will be our hippophile. Are we making the same products per name? No, we have different names. We're going to start with the same electrophile.